Hello and welcome to the third episode of Poison Mushroom, the show where I play some of the, let's just say, strangest games of all time, if not always the worst. You can tell by this bitchin' kind of proto-rock music we've got going on here that our game this week must be Euro Truck Simulator. Another entry in the bizarre kind of simulate the mundane life of somebody who probably hates their job genre, similar to, you know, like Farming Simulator or Garbage Truck Simulator. Being unfamiliar with trucking and unfamiliar with Europe, clearly I am probably not the prime target to play this game. Now say what you will about trucking maybe being a boring job, but this music really fucking locks it down. Alright, so here I am at the truck dealer. I used to be a truck dealer when I was in high school just to make some extra bucks, but that's, that's behind me now. This is like the Mario truck, it's pretty good all around. Here we got the Yoshi truck, it's got great acceleration but low top speed. The Wario one, it's a little bit fatter and thus a little bit faster. You know, I'm going to take the, the Wario truck here because it actually fits into my budget. And let's just take this thing right out on the road. Just driving along, minding my own business. Oh shit, I forgot I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> as, a, as a Canadian, I guess. I didn't, didn't foresee that. I love game. Oh god, oh god! Oh come on, I barely nudged him. I will end his life right now. I'm just going to see what happens if I ram this guy as hard as I can. Oh yeah! Vehicular manslaughter. No, you may not have my insurance information. Okay, take a right. So far so good, I'd say. I've only hit about all of the cars that are in the game. And we'll stop here to get a, a job offer. So what's our job? We're gonna get um, some apples, cheese, dry milk. Alright, well, it's not my favorite kind of milk, but I suppose someone might be interested in it. Oh shit, I didn't foresee that I would have to attach the cargo trailer. I had enough trouble just driving the cab around here. It's like playing uh, the original Grand Theft Autos. Go, come on, come on. Eh. Pretty good. Pretty tight ass corner to take right there. Mario Andrew. Oh god, watch out! Goddamn motorists never look where they're going. There is no way I'm getting out of the situation without hitting somebody. What did I tell you? Okay, so, oh, we're gonna go all the way to Manchester. This could take me like an hour. Are there people who actually spend their weekends doing this? This could be a long, long, long session. Like, really, I'm always amazed with these type of simulator games, because, like, if you want to be a truck driver, you could probably just go out there and be a truck driver. It's not like a game like Madden, where, you know, not everyone has the skills or the physique required to be a professional athlete. Pretty sure most people could go to driving school and become a truck driver. And it's not like Brett Favre is sitting at home like, man, I always wanted to be a professional Euro truck driving simulator, but instead, my fucking dad forced me to get into professional football, and now I've got all these chicks and all this money. Sending dick pictures to reporters. And yes, you're probably asking me to speed up, but joke's on you, I've got it full throttle right now. Let's take an over-under on how long I can actually play this game normally without just getting into crashes with everyone. I have this kind of dystopian vision of the future, that this is what all jobs are going to be like. We'll just wake up in the morning in our genetically engineered meat cubes, sit down at our computers, and then we'll do virtual truck driving. Oh shit, we've got a 10 degree bend coming up. Stay on target. Hold the line. Executing a merge here. Oh, oh, this is the toughest thing I've had so far. You know, the joke is I actually have not even had to use my brakes yet. I've just been holding down the throttle. Makes kind of makes a mockery of uh, you know, a job that I imagine requires some considerable driving skill. Manos, the hands of fate. So you can see that in a couple of hours, I uh, might have to go get gas, and that's going to be pretty fun. I mean, if this is a real truck driving simulator, there's a lot of things that they would need to add to it in order to make it accurate. For example, I don't feel like I have type 2 diabetes right now. Uh, my back is not nearly as hairy as it should be. And not to mention, like, I, I'm really hoping there's a mode where you can go pick up lot lizards and pay them 50 bucks to suck your dick in the parking lot of an all-night diner. Oh shit, guys, Manchester's in sight. I can see those lovely lights of the big city. You know, it's, it's sad, but the suicide rate among truckers is really high. In fact, the only group where suicide rate is higher is among people who play Euro Truck Simulator. Don't laugh at that, that's not funny. Manchester, under construction since 1868. Oh come on, that was an illegal lane change on his part. Oh come on, this dude just ran a red light. Oh come on, I'm Canadian, I forgot that you're not supposed to drive on that side of the road here. Holy shit, believe it or not, I think I actually made it. Relatively unscathed as well. You know, apart from the 35 people I killed on the road. Alright, 
I've got the 55 pounds of dried milk you ordered. Oh shit, this is gonna be a challenge. I gotta back it in. Oh, that's not a good start. <laughs> okay, back it up, back it up. Oh, fuck me. I am 100% incompetent at this. Here we go. Attempt number 15. It's like landing the plane in Top Gun on the NES. Backing up. Take 65. Failure. Backing up. Take 66. Come on, I'm so fucking close. Yes! Success! Close enough, barely even touching the line, but I'll take it. So, for hitting that car head-on, I took a 24 pound penalty. And I made, like, 2,000 pounds. Trucking is a good gig, man! Ooh... Oh, that's... I take it back. That job cost me $200, that's not fair! Let's, as with any simulator game, let's go out on a fucking rampage now. Boom! It's gonna be hard for you guys to yield now, isn't it, Manchesterians? Let's just drive over these cars. Yes! Realistic damage modeling. Project Gotham's got nothing on this game. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty sure this is always how I expected this video was gonna end. Thank you for watching Poison Mushroom Euro Truck Simulator Edition. I will see you next week with a new episode.